Hello everybody, it is I, PSI Gamer, and I am back to make more video stuff. So, I got a bunch of mods on my game. Uh, we're going to be playing a certain challenge. Uh, I'm going to play Blood and Dust, Cassandra Classic. We'll do Reload anytime, just because mods. That's usually how I play. And we'll just make the seed. We'll play on the seed gamer. The challenge of this, of this video in particular, but this, I tried this before, is that you, using the Settle on Impassable Tiles mod, uh, we will be living on an impassable tile. Okay, we will be living right on this tile here. There's some people around us. We can trade with the settlers, that's about it. Okay, so these are our three colonists. We have Rowan here. He is going to be good at mining. We have Mila. She is going to be... Well, she's, we're going to make her a little better at mining, just because mining is important. She'll be doing plants, mostly, once we're done mining, and she'll cook for us. And then we have Diver, and he's going to be our good fighter, and he's also a little bit good at making things. So, yeah, let's just see how it goes with this. This this is really hard. I, I, try, I, did a rec I recorded this yesterday, but I, like, screwed up the audio, so I'm doing it again. I was gonna try and upload it anyways, but it was it was unwatchable. Okay, we can begin. So as you can see, this is the map that we're working with. Nothing too special, it's just a big brick. And somewhere in the middle, there is guaranteed to be an open space. So our first plan is to just mine we started with a monkey named Poltergeist. We will unforbid everything, and people will get to work. I'll we'll also have... Rowan can have the knife. Mila can have the revolver, and Diver can have the bolt-action rifle. Yeah, Diver's not going to have too much stuff to do at the start, because he doesn't mind. He'll probably just wander around. And now Diver can build a little bit of a wall and door for us here, except for he messed up. Let me try that again. And now, we've got a real room, so now once we dig this out further, we can actually put our stuff in it. Make sure to get all our meals inside so no animals eat them, because it's really hard to get food at the start of this. Okay, we got three beds. They're only normal, but we got beds for people to sleep in. Okay, a lot of the mountain in the inside ended up being sandstone, so we actually managed to get pretty far into the mountain on our first day. So hopefully on our second day we might be able to either find the find the inside or at least get like to the middle and we can start branching out. There's visitors, but like we can't really host visitors right now, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let visitors show up until I have guest beds. I found a tree. There's a tree inside the mountain. And that that is what we were looking for. And hey, look! A bunch of meals. There's also some steel walls. Supposedly there's an ancient danger somewhere in the middle of the mountain. So that's another thing we'll want to look for at some point. Well, that was we found this way faster than I found it in my other game. It took me, like, the first month of the game to actually find it. And we can start moving everything into here now. We can set up, like, actual houses and stuff. Before the winter comes, we're also going to make a big old zone right here, where we can grow ourselves some potatoes. That'll help us be prepared for the winter. Mila will plant them, and Rowan and Diver will get working on the houses. We're also going to make our home area this whole space, just because I don't want any fires in here, because everything inside would burn down and that would just be said. We're also going to put a well in here, because that way our people don't have to walk all the way outside to go wash their hands. An alpaca has gone mad. Well, I guess we could go kill it. Mila wants to go wash her hands, but while she's out there, I'm going to have her shoot the alpaca. Good job. There. And then, also because we're not savages, we're going to get a table. And stools to eat on. Alright, so we can give our faction a name now. We will name it Gamers in the Mountain. 
and our settlement. Our settlement will be called, call our settlement Big Rock, because there's a big rock. The other thing we're going to do is we're just going to put a little latrine over here so people can use the restroom in a private space. And now that we have our bedrooms finished, we can put beds in them. And eventually I'll put actual flooring in too. Uh-oh. A peasant with a club. He's coming for us. He's a jo this guy's kind of good. If we can manage to... Uh, oh, he has Alzheimer's, but... If we can manage to uh, down him, we might capture him. We'll see. Let's just go out and shoot him. He might... I don't, I don't know if he'll live. We'll see. Do you think he might defeat us? I don't think so. Alright, we're gonna shoot him now. Oh, he did not make it. We shot him in the spine. Now he can't walk. We'll have Mila. She will capture him and treat him. Everyone else can go back to their business. Now that he's all healed up, we'll uninstall this from being prisoners, and we'll just have her escort him to his new room, which will be this. This is his new room. This is an enclosed space, so we can just keep a prisoner here. I don't think he'll be able to escape, really. Okay, I think I'm going to have to set in a loud area, because people would rather go wash their hands in the lake than at the well. Oh, they're not using it because it's for prisoners. Well, that might be an issue, actually. Door right here. Now that we got this little room, uh, that can be Ryan's bed. We can just have Diver escort him. Go. Okay, I think we're going to set this guy free. I want relations with them. And, um, I don't really want to keep feeding him. So we'll let him go. Uh oh. Our potatoes! Spacecraft chunks just fell on top of our potatoes. That's horrible. We can accept someone to become a yeoman as long as we protect a duchess from a tree frog. We'll accept with Rowan then. Rowan gets to be the person. Alright, this she's all the way over here. She's gonna get murdered by that tree frog. We'll try and get her in. Um, someone go, just Mila, go, sh go shoot the tree frog. Here it comes, the tree frog. Alright, we shot it. Yay. And the shuttle has arrived in here. That's a good spot for the shuttle to arrive. Alright, get in. And we got, we got a Silent Neuroformer. And yeah, we'll give that to Rowan. He learned how to cast Stun. Good job, Rowan. Rowan, if you're watching this, you're the best of my three colonists because you're not abrasive. Alright, we'll get rid of these ship chunks so we can plant new potatoes. It was very rude of them to destroy our potatoes like that. Another thing about this colony is that any any uh, m any meteors or ship chunks will probably land like right here. Why are you eating raw meat? Do we not have food? I didn't really pay attention to the low food message and now people are eating raw food. I'm going to hunt this mega sloth. That's a good idea. Diaper can do it when he gets up. Uh oh. Mega Sloth went mad. Luckily, we've already shot it three times, so we can run faster than it. Okay, it is really tough, though. Diver is avoiding his fellow colonists. This happened because of poor mood. The final straw was hungry. Goodbye, Diver. He's just leaving. He just ran all the way over here, and then stopped being antisocial. And now he's gonna go to the bathroom. All right, because we have deep storage installed, I'm gonna put all my steel on this pallet outside. It saves space, and you really don't need to get like a massive stockpile that way. It, some some people think it's a little bit cheaty, but I, I I like it. A local turkey has gone mad. It will attack anyone it sees. I have a cool solution for dealing with manhunting animals. It's called forbidding this door. We're going to be getting our har first harvest of potatoes soon, so I'm going to preemptively set up a food basket just for keeping our potatoes in, because we're going to get a lot of them. I did that on purpose because it's kind of hard to get food by hunting, you know, because all the animals are outside. Oh, 
Someone with tomahawks showed up. They're gonna get attacked by the turkey. The turkey's going for them. Oh no, the potatoes are on fire. Alright, can this- can frog handle the mad turkey? Let's find out. Oh no, frog cut its foot off. Poor turkey. Okay, we might actually have to fight frog. Okay, here's a little strategy. You can go haul that, you can go haul that. Actually, you can go haul that. And you can go open the door. Yeah, alright. We don't want them to steal our medicine. And then you can just stand behind that embrasure. I don't think they'll make it. Yeah, get them. Ah, you missed. It is dark in there. Shoot him. Seriously? Oh, good job, good job. You got them. I'm just gonna, um, capture them and release them for relations. Rowan will try to patch her up. Um, we're not gonna use medicine. She's, she doesn't really need medicine, and she won't survive if, if we run to go get medicine. We can take her tomahawks, too. And Frog got an infection in her torso. Alright, we will give her medicine now, because she's actually no longer, like, dying. We'll have Rowan treat to her. We also finished these bedrooms, which is pretty nice. I'm sure sleeping in a dull bedroom isn't the best thing, but it's much better than an awful bedroom. And we're about to get our first harvest of potatoes. Things aren't too bad in the middle of this giant mountain. But, that being said, this is where I'm going to leave things for this episode. I will definitely record another episode, and it will be up probably later this week. So, leave a like if you enjoyed, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.